So last time, uh, we uh, finished the last, quote-unquote, last age and got all the pages. So let's see what these uh, two dudes have to say now that we can uh, hear them clearly. Finally, it's Herbert. I owe you a debt of gratitude, for you have nearly released me. My name is Sirius. I trust that from your explorations you have become convinced that my wicked brother... Agatha is guilty, and I am innocent. It is I who am wrongly imprisoned here. Imprisoned by my father. I don't know who you are, or how you came to this island, but I assume you must at least know something of the books. It was father who was a master of the books. He wrote hundreds of them, all describing and linking to the fantastic places and ages which he had discovered. The room in which you now stand was our father's library. It was here in this room on this island named Mist that he housed most of these books. But such a waste. By now you have surely discovered that Aknar has burnt and mutilated most of these books. Why? Our father was always watchful of our exploration. We grew up under his strict supervision. But when we came of age, he gave us unbridled access to the mystic books. He began to leave our adventures more and more unchecked. Unsupervised as we were, my brother began to become disturbed. He began to take more from the mist ages than he had given. Soon he gained a twisted pleasure from the conquest and destruction of the other ages. It was horrific. His thirst for destruction. But alas, even I discovered his insanity too late. He had completely destroyed all of the missed ages but four. I wasted no time. In warning my father, I thought he would recognize Akhenar's guilt. But in a fit of rage, he imprisoned both my brother and myself within the pages of these books, designed to hold us until he could judge which of us was guilty. To discover the truth, our father embarked on one final journey. However, he has never returned. I can only assume that he perished along the way, leaving me an innocent victim and trapped forever. But now, you are here to release me. Listen carefully. You must find one more page and I will be forever free. There is a book on the shelves. This library, which is mostly burned, but has a few pages still intact. It is the last book on the middle shelf. Find it. This book is filled with a variety of patterns. Find pattern 158 and recreate it from the door of the fireplace. This will bring you to the last red page. Bring that page to me, and I will finally be released and able to reward you, of course. Ignore the blue page. That page finishes my brother's book. It chills me to even think what would happen if you were to release him. There is another warning. Where the red and blue pages reside, also resides a green book. If you touch the green book, you also will be imprisoned forever. Our father gave us this same warning long ago. I suggest you follow us. Go now. Soon to So this guy rambled on for like five minutes. But basically he was like, yeah, find find another red page. Don't touch the blue stuff. What's what does this guy say? He's he's the guilty party, isn't he? Hello. I'm Akana. I'm glad to see that you've returned to help me escape from my wrongful imprisonment. <laughs> It was Cyrus who did this to me. Cyrus, my wicked brother. Do not listen to him. I warn you. I warn you. He's a liar. 
cannot be persuaded by his evil lies. I believe him. He killed my father. He will kill you. <laughs> When my brother's tears began to lust for riches, he stole from the ages of mist. He hoarded riches for himself. My father. My father slipped away his watchfulness. My sick brother secretly pronounced himself king. King of the ages of mist, he said. He began to look upon me in disgust. His lowly brother. He did him. Sirius began to destroy the ages of mist. He burned their forest. He tore down their structures. He flooded their lands. He murdered their inhabitants. He destroyed all but four of the ages. Of course, I had a woman father. When I finally found him, there was Sirius also talking cleverly. <laughs> the lying tongue of a serpent. He had convinced father it was I who destroyed the ages. He convinced father that it was I who was greedy for wealth and plunder. And as Sirius dealt the final blow, he tricked the father into believing that I was the murderer. But Sirius did not deal as fast a blow as he planned. And his father died a slow death. He at last doubted my brother's clever lies. And so in dying, father imprisoned us both. I'm not sure from which of us the blow had come. <laughs> I swear to you, what I say is true. Release me. <laughs> you must release me. My brother is a deceitful liar and deserves punishment. I only wish vengeance for my dear father. He's murdered. <laughs> Believe me. <laughs> you must only recover one additional page to release me from this prison. It's the easiest to find. Go to the bookshelf. It's in this library. On the far right side of the middle shelf, there's a burned book, which is different from the other burned books. This book is filled with patterns. Fine pattern 158. Mimic its design on the panel in the fireplace. Doing this will bring you the last blue page. Remember, don't take the red page. Only the blue page. Return quickly to me. The green book is a clever trap to imprison those who have not been warned. <laughs> Do not be tempted, for you will rot and die, imprisoned as I am. <laughs> I tell you, if you follow my instructions, it will be well worth your while. I promise you that. Go. So, uh, that guy didn't ramble on for as much, and personally I liked the blue guy's story better. Agonaz's story. But they both basically are blaming each other for a starting fire, which technically could have been of natural causes. We don't know how the fire struck. For all we know, it could have been a lightning bolt. Yeah, that's unlikely. But yeah, blue guy, he rambles on for less. He gets bet more to the main point. Uh, but yeah, this book right here. We need to find pattern 158. Now, you could click uh, like 158 times or something, but you can just you hold right click. For the fast moving. Well, I'm not sure how many pages there are. Now we're going 20 at a time. There's 300 pages total. 300 different designs. But we want pattern 158. We want this one. Yeah, this one. Not that hard. So, uh, you may have seen this, I may have shown this off, I don't recall, but... Maybe we can do this, and we can be like... Drawing time! Yeah. So, uh, it was like this. And, uh... The control is kind of awful. Something like this, maybe. Nope. Okay, let's see what it was again. 
I was off by a few. <laughs> yeah, this is the uh, final arc of this. So we're almost done this game. This is the last part. And, um... Ooh, okay, okay. I was close, but not close enough. I'll get it this time. And I have a really annoying song stuck in my head. I was playing at school, and it is annoying. And you don't really need to know about that. It was like this. Ugh. It's so slidey. It was that. What? It was that. That was the design. Stop lying to me, game. I'm not crazy. It's like this. And then it was like this. And then it was like this, and then it was like this. And it was like this. No, 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 something's still wrong there. But what but huh. Well, I know this is right. Cause I know I know this is right. I know that one's there, and I know it's these it's these three, and I know that one's there. I thought it went maybe it went like this. Nope. Okay, let's go uh, double triple check. In which I have the memory of a goldfish. Times the charm, you know what they say? Yeah, I, I agree, it's stupid. It's so slidey. You know, you did like adjust the sensitivity or something. It's so slidey. There we go. And suddenly we turn. Final decision, and we, I'm gonna save here because there are four endings to this game. Three bad ones and a good one, but let's just start with uh, grabbing this red page and returning it to the uh, to Cirrus. Let's see what occurs. And let's hit the button again to open it. Turn the page like we like we promised you, you know, right, right. And and I can't move, and suddenly poof! Oh, what's this? Is this a credit sequence? Nope. We are trapped in the book. Oh yes, yes, yes. I'm free. I'm free. Oh. Thank you, my friend. My dear friend, you've done the right thing. You stupid fool! <laughs> it looks like perhaps you're in the book now. <laughs> and what have we here? A page. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you enjoy your new home as much as I enjoyed it. I can't see you. You're getting less clear. I hope you're in the boots. <laughs> looks much the same as I left. Oh, I can all. <laughs> I 
Expecting a jump scare? No, it's not gonna happen. This is literally it. You can't do anything. You can't click on anything. I can't move my. You can't move your hand outside the mouth. This field. Yeah, literally, what you have to do is like load. I said load. There we go. Slowest loading ever. And let's do the same with the blue pit. Yeah, yeah. We both know where this is going unless you are like two. We're gonna get trapped in the blue page. But let's see what his dialogue says. Yeah, because it turns out they're both psychopaths. In case you didn't realize, uh, Cirrus is uh, the red guy. His place was always full of riches. But the blue guy, he was always full of violence. They're both evil. Greedy and violent people. Fictional people, but still, yeah. So let's do the same here. And, yeah, you can't run away. As much as you'd like to. Poof. Oh, yes! I'm free! <laughs> oh, I feel alive! <laughs> And how do you feel, my friend? <laughs> oh, oh, and what have we here? Perhaps the pages you worked so hard for? <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> oh, yes! Oh. Perhaps you're seeing the world from my point of view? <laughs> oh, yes! Oh. <laughs> my brother. <laughs> Maybe someone will rescue you someday. <laughs> you're in the same boat as before. So, let's just load, and this time, touch the green book. Because, yeah, it's, it's not a trap. Or is it? <sighs> Ignore the sneezing. It is both a trap and not a trap. The cat is both alive and dead. <sighs> it's another guy, let's see what he says. Who the devil are you? Uh, don't come here to die, not yet. I have many questions for you, my friend, as you no doubt have for me. Where should I begin? Perhaps my story is in order. My name is Atris. I feel you've met my son, Cirrus and Agonar, in the red and blue books on Mist Island in my library. My library it contains my works, my writings. Oh, I wrote many books that linked me to fantastic places. It's an art I learned from my father many years ago. Oh, but the red and blue books, those were different. I wrote those books to entrap over greedy explorers who might stumble upon my island of mist. But I had no idea my own sons would be entrapped. My sons, Cirrus and Akinar, we had many journeys together. 
gave them free reign to the books. Perhaps it was not wise. I could see the greed growing in them. I had not told them about the red and blue books. Their imaginations went wild. They dreamed of riches and power. Of course, they did not know the books were traps. They begged me for access to those books, and I, of course, denied them. Oh, they devised a plan, an evil plan. I had no idea to what extent their greed had progressed. Their own mother, oh, my own dear Catherine. They used her to lure me here to Dunny. Of course, I could return to Myst, except they removed a single page from my Myst linking book. I cannot return without that page. You, my friend, can bring that page to me. Oh, I pray you believe my story above the lies that my sons have told you. If you could find it in yourself to return that page to me here in Dunny, I could go to Mist and bring justice to my sons for what they've done. I must return to my writing. I pray that you believe me. Please hurry. Bring the page. Bring the page with you. So yeah, this guy, uh, more believable story. Apparently something happened to his, to his beloved wife, Catherine. We'll see more of that later. Uh, as, and by later, I mean in later series of this series. That makes sense. So we could do that. Or we could get more flavor text if we close the book and then reopen it. Have you found the missing page? Come, come. <laughs> Well, I don't have the page, but let's enter anyway. Fancy place. And by that I mean full of invisible walls. You're kind of forced to go in one place right here. Now, wasn't that like some fancy, not real, like... <laughs> it's not a polygon. Like, the graphics on Atrus are so much different. It's like a hologram. Turned, we meet face to face. And the page, did you bring the page? You didn't bring the page. You didn't bring the page. What kind of fool are you? Oh. Did you not take my warning seriously? reload and this time let's actually get the page but where could this page be hint hint I pointed out some very important hints to where this page was remember the half page the two half pages the one that was in uh, stone chip and the one that was in channel wood yeah those, those were important all right unfortunately this doesn't mean I have to read and put the what I'm the fire firewood fireplace combo but whatever so the best ending and by best I mean the only good ending and by that I mean the only way to actually continue the game uh, is to well actually I'm just gonna flip this one if you looked at the two pages it was, it was like flip yeah it was like yeah nothing happens it, but basically the hint was flip all the marker switches on and then turn this one off and just like magic, we get a white page. And you don't, like, the only reason you need to do those other pages is for knowledge on how to get to a Atris. So technically, you, you can complete this game in like a minute or two. 
by giving the white page to Atris right away. So yeah, but hey, it, it's it's a fun game. So let's re-input the uh, combo. Combo. No. And now that we have the white page, let us, uh, let us. Let's enter now and see what Atris has to say. No, the music is different. Kind of. Maybe. Ah, oh, my friend. You've returned. The page. Did you bring the page? Ah, uh, give it to me. Nah. Please, give me the page. Page, my friend. The page. Oh? Yeah, and then, and then, and then he just kind of vanishes. <laughs> hey, he's back. You've done the right thing. I have a difficult choice to make. My sons have betrayed me. I know what I must do. I shall return shortly. It is done. Oh, I have many questions for you, my friend, but... Uh... My writing cannot wait. I fear that my long delay may have already had a catastrophic impact on the world in which my wife Catherine is being held hostage. Oh, uh, reward. I'm sorry, but all I have to offer you is the library on the Island of Mist. The books that are contained there. Feel free to explore at your leisure. I hope your explorations are satisfying. You will uh, no longer have my sons to deal with. Oh. I'm fighting a foe much greater than my sons could ever have imagined. At some point in the future, I may find it necessary to request your assistance. Till that point, you're free to enjoy the exploration from my library on Mist. And thank you again. the mist linking book to return to mist and after he says that we can now use the book long cutscene but whatever now we can finally return and you'll see things are different bam there's a hole right there bam there's a hole right there and there's a book on the ground and it's missing from the library do you remember which book this was? This is the Book of Rhyme. The Age of Rhyme. Yep, there's a fifth age. Which we will be doing in this episode, because it's a small age. Uh, so I'll let you read this on your own. Cord. And see, he added this. 2735. We 
Yeah, you could access Ryan before if you had the knowledge, and in the first episode, he kind of started the quest for it, but I didn't remember the code. And only after you free Atrus do you get the code, so hit this button. And now we can open up this. Come on. Okay, maybe we need to... Uh, so yeah, you basically do this and... I think maybe you have to like cut it off or something. Else. But you just fiddle around with things until uh... Until something happens. Uh, let's go to uh... 40. One of them. Tropical excursion test. Hit the button. Okay, that was weird. Um. Okay, if this thing would activate, that would be lovely. Really would be. have to do is do this. Now hit this button. Okay, yes, yeah, so that's what we had to do. And now we can turn this. And that turned something. Oh, but what did it turn? You'll see. So let's wander yonder. Be beautiful saying. And perhaps you recognized that. Bingo! This door wasn't here before. And now, what is this? Some sort of lock. 2357. Maybe it was 2537? I think it was 2537. Nope, maybe it was 2375. Let's try 2357. 2735, there we go. And it ascends into the ceiling. And... Where could that have been? It was in here, all along. The Age of Rhyme. My favorite age. Besides Channel, because it is a beautiful age. Nice and blue and green. And, and also kind of frozen. That, that too. It is frozen. We can go, go on this platform here. It's it's useless, but hey, it's, it's an observation platform. Uh, there aren't really any objectives here. This is just Easter eggy stuff, but yeah, we can look here. There's a mislinking book if you want to go back. There's a boiler. There's a door. Except it's frozen shut. We can close this, we can close this door. And we can But we can't start a fire. Uh, now it took me ages to figure out why when I was younger, but it's because of this valve here. We need to actually turn on the gas valve. Now we can start a fire. And, uh, yeah, you're not gonna do anything. You actually have to close the door for the woman, for the woman to warm up. Yeah, if the door isn't closed, the room will not warm up. Some beautiful ice melting sounds, and suddenly the door opens, and open with something that looks out of a horror film. And let's hit this up button. Ah, this is so loud. That was very loud. Hey, what's this? And green fills the sky. So, what's the style do? We can... Mouse, can I show you? We can switch it to red, sure. And... Red-ish fills.
fills the sky. And let's change it to blue. And you guessed it, blue fills the sky. And those are the only three settings, but hey, it's something. And clearly that was the only thing that we... No, that is not the only thing that we came here for. Because, if you look here, there's a button. Ooh, special button. And suddenly we're turning around. And now the button's on the right. And here's another book of rhyme. So I'll let you read this on your own time. We can't open this drawer. So you may be thinking, okay, that's it, right? No, because we can still go down. We can't go up, but we can go down. Now that we're turned around. And there's a staircase. Ooh, special staircase. Welcome to the final puzzle of the, ga of the game. The store is useless, by the way. Ambience. So here is something. And here's something else. This puzzle is kind of nasty. But basically we've got... We've got to completely replicate this. And a lot of the shapes can be misleading. So we got, yeah, so you want to do the shape first, then the color. So we got a weird bee thing, spire, spike, diamond, bunnies. Now see that spire? And see that V? They're the wrong spire V. We want that V. Uh, we do want that one. Uh... We don't want that. We don't want this. Not that. We want this. Beautiful music. Uh, we want... This thing has a flat top. And I believe the one we want here, uh, by the way, this thing loops back to the start. That was the very last one. I believe the one we want for that last one is... This one. I'm not quite sure, though. Could be the first one. Could be this one. I'm not sure. Let's just look at the colors. It was red. I know this one was blue. Get red. Okay, that's red. And, uh, so it's, it looks like green, yellow... Yeah, green, yellow, pink. Yellow. Pink. Is this correct? Nope. Okay, this is the, uh, wrong shape. It's this one. Nope, nope, that's not that either. It turns out it was the first one. First of the three B shapes. No, no, so something's off. Um. Huh, did I get the color wrong? Oh, okay. Duh, I mixed these up. Yeah, that that would be a big issue. I've always had trouble with this puzzle. I could never get it right. First try. It's not even hard, it's just deceiving, kind of. And maybe we want this at green. No, not blue. We want this on you. This is it? No, 
this is the wrong shape again. Exciting gameplay, I know. Okay, this is the shape. I'm certain of it. Yep, here we go. Welcome to a preview of Mist 2 Riven. Oh, abrupt ending. Like, like seriously, that, 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 that's it. That's all we did this puzzle for, literally. What was this picture? It, it's done now. The, the game's over. Uh, good game. Good game. 